Welcome back to Go Winnipeg. Once again, we're in Gimli, and that is one old antique bike. But then again, we have Leona Johnson here. She is the festival director, and you just like antique -y things, don't you, Leona? Yeah, I'm an, I'm an old gal. I'm an antique, so it's all great. <laughs> oh, no, being out here, though, this is fantastic. Yes, we can't be more blessed than the weather. Right? Summer no. came for the Gimli Film Festival. Perfect. I think so. Especially ordered for me until, of course, the weather changes, then I had nothing to do with it. Okay? Of course. Okay. All right. That's the whole buzz this weekend because we were running away from storm clouds in Winnipeg and beautiful sunshine right here. So this is where it's all happening. Gimli Film Festival. Congratulations. So we want to know... Why is it in Gimli and how long this festival has been running? This is our 14th year, mm -hmm. so um, we're so excited to come to the town of Gimli. It all started 14 years ago with Helmer Hannison and Janice Johnson, who is our founder and chair. And they, Helmer it was the um, Consul General of Ice, from Iceland for Canada, mm -hmm. and they brought in some Iceland films and had a showing in Toronto and in Gimli. And Gimli as a community just took off with it and it started to expand into Manitoba, Canadian films, international films films, circumpolar films, so it's grown from there and here it is, a big festival, free screening on the beach, wow. indoor venues, lots of fun. How have you seen it grown over the years? Well, I've been involved as a volunteer before. This is my first year as a festival director. So it was really actually interesting being just a venue yeah. door ticket taker, yeah. starting from there. And it started off with, you know, just a few hundred on the beach, watching a few things. And now it's over 100 films and 12 to 14,000 people coming, depending on the weather, because the yeah. weather really affects things a bit because of the beach. But otherwise, everybody come on in. And what's different this year, actually, so everybody knows out there, mm -hmm. is we have an indoor venue for the beach in case it ever rains. Uh -huh. We have Dr. George Johnson Middle School, which is just down the street, and walk on over with your blankets and chairs and Same still thing. watch the movie in a big venue, but there's no stars, that's Aww. all. No, no real stars, but let's talk about movie stars and the films. The films are the stars. What does a festival like this mean to our local film industry? Oh, it's terrific. Um, right now going on at the Lakeview is the industry sessions for all the local filmmakers, which is mm -hmm. terrific. We have over 30 Manitoba filmmakers and over 50% of the films are Canadian. So we really want to promote mm -hmm. and support our film industry right here in Manitoba and Canada. So it's been terrific. Ah, so this first year has been a good year for you? Yes, it's been fun. I started in, in January, so it was a lot of learning to do and uh, move with, with forward very quickly. But it's been great. Our sponsors and our volunteers and our donors have been so fabulous and really got on board. And there's a lot of new things we're trying, and they're really keen and gung-ho to do that. So it's been good. Well, congratulations, Leona. Another successful Gimli Film Festival. We're going to now go to another star. The All-Star Game at Shaw Park is happening on Tuesday. But you know what? The real star is not on the field, but actually dancing. Here's a look at the fantastic feet work of Gregory.